What's going on YouTube? So there's no mistaking what this is. This is the all-American 2023 Chevy Silverado. And we want to know, does this truck have what it takes to keep up in this highly competitive segment? Well, let's go ahead and find out. All right, so let's get things started here with today's spec dump. So underneath the hood of the LT Trail Boss, you can actually get all four of the available engines on the Silverado. You're gonna start with the 2.7 liter high output turbo four cylinder engine. You can go and choose the diesel, the 6.2 V8, or like today, the 5.3 liter V8. That makes 355 horsepower and 383 pound-feet of torque. You're going to have a 10 speed automatic transmission for the vast majority of engine combinations. Four wheel drive is standard for the Trail Boss trim level, and this particular model is coming in at 16 miles a gallon combined. But we're going to be doing an extensive test drive where we talk about a lot of different things and get our signature sound level reading that I cannot get out of my pocket. Here we go, sound level <laughs> reading, uh, and that will be coming up in just a little bit. But first, let's go ahead and take a look at the exterior. If we can reach the hood, there we go. So when it comes to the exterior design, it's gonna be very obvious to you when you first walk up to this that this is the Trail Boss. Chevy adds quite a bit of elements here to really toughen up the design. Now, of course, we like to talk a lot about trim levels and options on car confections. However, we'd like to keep this video under an hour, so we're gonna really focus in here on the LT Trail Boss for today. Now, taking a look at the grill, every version of the Silverado does have a different look to it. Here with the LT Trail Boss, we've got a really nice looking full gloss black finish all across the front end. We also have the black bow tie emblem and the gloss black finish to the lower bumpers, really nicely accented by the red recovery hooks. Now that I'm squatted down here though, I do wanna mention ground clearance. That of course is very important for a truck you're gonna take off road and you have a two inch lift with the Trail Boss. So it's gonna bring your total ground clearance to 10.8 inches. Now, as we come up, this is another really nice element that signifies you have the Trail Boss. We've got this uh, hood scoop element up here finished in the gloss black. Looks really nice in contrast with this sand dune color, which is a new color option they added last year. Turning our attention to the headlights, this version will have the premium full LED headlight arrangement. Uh, I particularly like the daytime running light and turn signal indicator through there. And furthermore, you will also have LED fog lamps down at the bottom. Now, as we move around to the rear design, trucks are, you know, designed to be functional in the back, not so much stylish. However, you do have a few body lines running through the tailgate to give it a little bit more of a dynamic look and less of a slab finish. Yeah, and as far as some of your design elements, those you do have a blacked out Chevy bow tie emblem. And let's check out our tail lights and see if all of the elements are LED. Now, I will tell you that this is the premium version of the tail light that's standard on the RST and above. And as you can see, we do have an LED brake light. We also have a LED turn signal incandescent reverse light though. So two out of the three elements are LED if you go for an RST trim level or above. Now dropping down to the lower areas, we do have a shiny black plastic. I really like the look of this, especially in contrast with this paint color. Um, that's gonna be on the Trail Boss models. And we're also gonna have dual integrated exhaust outlets. I love the way that looks. I wish more trucks would have exposed exhaust outlets because it looks really good. As far as your tow rating is concerned, we're looking at 13,300 pounds with the diesel on this LT Trail Boss. Now guys, this is a truck after all, so let's go ahead and talk about the bed. Now you might have noticed just based on the design that we do have the optional multi-flex tailgate. It has six different modes you can do it in. I'm gonna drop it down and reverse it, just like Missy Elliott. And as you can see, there are a lot of different modes. This is the best mode for getting in and out of the tailgate. So you can just kind of reach up here, extend this arm out and easily climb into the bed itself. There are also steps on the side if you'd prefer to do that as well. I'm not gonna go through all of the different modes, but you can see that in different Silverado videos. Now, as far as the bed itself back here, five and a half foot bed on this model, this is the short configuration, nice bed liner. 
Now I am noticing that we do have a household outlet over here on the right side. We also have several tie downs for any of your cargo needs. Now as we move on to the wheels, you do have a couple choices here. You're gonna start out with 18 inch alloy wheels. However, on today's example, we've got the optional 20 inch alloy wheels with the nice gloss back finish. No matter which version you choose, though you are gonna get the mud terrain tires for of course, off-road performance. As we rise on up here, you've got your Z71 badging right there. We also have a nice finish on the mirror, gloss black. We have blind spot monitoring and heating on today's example as well. And if you're curious how to get one of these Trail Boss models and the cab configurations that you can choose from, well, it's gonna be pretty simple. You have crew cab only, your choice of a five and a half foot bed or a six and a half foot standard bed. Now, last year Chevy updated the safety systems and I'm happy to report that three out of four active safety features are standard on every single Silverado model. Now, furthermore, if you wanna add adaptive cruise control, that is an option. And you also have the option of getting Super Cruise. So yes, that's a really cool hands-free highway driving system that you can get on the higher end Silverado models. But guys, that's gonna wrap up the exterior design. Now let's go ahead and check out the interior. So let's go ahead and climb inside. But before we do that, take a look at our key fob here. This is the typical Chevy key fob. We do have smart entry as well as remote start and that starts with the LT trim level. And to get inside, there's not a sensor behind the handle. So just press the silver button and that will unlock the door. Now taking a look inside of the cabin, the Silverado after the refresh has two different interiors that you can get, starting with the LT trim level. That's the upgraded interior, which has a lot more emphasis on technology and luxury. That of course is what we have today. And let's go ahead and first start off by talking about different interior material and color options. So for the LT Trail Boss, you've got a few different choices here. So you actually would come standard with uh, the three seats in the front. We have the optional bucket seating. You also have standard cloth seating. We have the optional leather seating. This is included in the premium package. And as you can see, nice quality leather. You got some color contrast stitching through here. Um, and it is finished in the black color, of course. We do have a 10-way power adjusting seat with two-way lumbar support. But let's go ahead and climb inside. Now with the two-inch lift, getting inside would be pretty challenging, but we do have running boards and a nice assist grip. Once you climb inside, you do have Trail Boss specific animations across these two displays. Really nice looking. But let's go ahead and talk about the overall cabin materials as a whole. Like I already mentioned, this is kind of the more premium version of the interior. So let's start off over here at our door trim. Everything you're gonna touch is soft. So we have leatherette all through here as well as down here with a stitching detail. It is soft touch along the middle and soft touch along the top. And we have a faux wood trim through there. As far as the windows, one touch auto up and down for the driver, auto down for the other three. As we move to the upper dash, again, all finished in a nice soft touch plastic with a stitching detail that goes for the center part. More of the faux wood trim through there. And then down here on our center tunnel, we do have that faux wood and faux aluminum accenting running all through there. Everything does feel nice and solid. But we'll go ahead and fire it up with the push button start. Now, like always, let's go ahead and move into a first person perspective and take a closer look at all the interior details. First of all, we have our gauge cluster. So starting with the LT trim level, which of course does include the Trail Boss, we have the 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster. Really nice looking, as you saw earlier, good looking graphics. Different things can be reconfigured as far as the design and that depends on your drive modes as well. As we pull back to the steering wheel, we do have the typical Chevrolet steering wheel, nicely leather wrapped. It is going to be manual tilt and telescoping on this model. You can get power adjustment on the upper end models. And then you do have steering wheel heating as well. But let's go ahead and take a look at interior storage because this still needs to be a functional truck at the end of the day. And it is underneath our center console. We have this bin you can Toss that to the side and then you've got the huge center console, which is absolutely 
uh, plenty of space for all of the coupons. As you can see, you don't even have to fold them in half. They are no match for this bin. We have our two USB ports. We also have a 12 volt outlet inside. This is your wireless phone charging pad. So you just slide your phone right there on that. Got your two cup holders. You got another large bin right there in the front and you could stick another phone or something like that, as well as a little bit more storage along the sides over there on the door trim and up here above the display. So plenty of storage on board. Now, of course, since we have the bucket seats, that means that we actually switch to the console mounted shifter. This is the newest electronic design. So you're just gonna pull back for drive. You can shift manually with the half paddle shifters on the steering wheel. Press up for reverse. And that's where you'll find the 360 degree camera system pop up if you've chosen the uh, optional premium package. So we do have that, as you can see, nice looking graphics, plenty of different views we can choose between. So you can see the side angle. You can also see your trailer hitch if you're trying to line that up. Lots of different choices on board. And then for park, just press the P right there. Now moving on from the shifter, we do have a trailer brake controller right here. And off to the side of that, most models will be coming with the dual zone automatic climate control system you see here with the LT Trail Boss. All nice physical controls, easy to adjust. We also have standard three stage heated seats. They have separate butt and back controls. If you wanted seat ventilation though, you would have to go to a higher end trim level than this. All right, so the next place we're coming to is the volume knob. There's two different audio systems. Uh, you do have a standard six speaker sound system, but included in that premium package on this model is going to be the seven speaker Bose premium sound system. We'll go ahead and give that a sample right now. Had to wait a second to let the beat drop, but that was a good demonstration of how good the sound system is. It really fills up the cabin nicely and has plenty of bass to satisfy all you bass lovers. All right, let's take a look at the display next. This is another one of the new elements from the 2022 extensive refresh of the Silverado. This is the 13.4 inch display. And in addition to being larger and of course, much higher resolution, one of the big advantages of this new display is the fact that it now has a Android automotive based infotainment system. So with that comes special benefits like having built in Google Maps as well as other Google applications inside of the system itself. Now, if you don't wanna use this system, you still have the availability of Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, both of which will run wirelessly through this system. Now finishing up the front of the cabin, we do have a manual dimming mirror. Of course, an auto dimming mirror is available. We do have the Homelink Universal remote still up here at the top. That's part of the premium package on today's model. We don't have a sunroof on this model, but in the premium package, we do get the power rear window, so you can still operate that. Now, like I mentioned at the side, the Trail Boss model is crew cab only. So that means you're going to have this rear seat configuration, which is certainly a good one. So as far as the space is concerned, we're looking at 43.4 inches of legroom, 40.1 inches of headroom. There is just acres of headroom, guys. They even did a cutout. I don't know. Shaquille O'Neal wouldn't need this cutout, but Chevy did it anyway. And as far as how much space there is between my knees and the seat back, the knee room. Uh, this seat is adjusted. Drew's five foot eight. I'm five foot nine, uh, and we're looking at I'd say ten and a half inches between my knees and the seat back. So really good amount of space, guys. Also, my feet can easily slide up underneath of the seat. Now, in terms of features, let's go ahead and talk about that. So here in the center, we do have two cup holders, nice chrome trim around the outside edges. Vents are going to be standard equipment on every single Silverado model. And down below that, we also have uh, two USB ports, a USB-C, a USB-A as well. No heated rear seats on this particular model. And then if we drop down the center armrest, we do have two cup holders inside, a little bit of storage inside of there. But if you need more storage, 
I'd recommend using the secret storage compartment in the back of the seat. Uh, that's really cool. You can fit, I don't know, it's not a ton of room, but you could definitely fit some stuff back there. You can also just lift up the seat and then that's going to reveal quite a bit of underfloor storage. As you can see, we hit an entire tripod down here and you have even more room right down there. Now let's look at your door trim. The door trim is gonna be pretty nice material, soft touch on all this part, uh, more of that faux wood trim soft touch on your armrest portion, and then we do ha also have a lot of bottle storage. Nice. Yep, and there we are, accelerating to a little over 60 miles per hour. Now, like we mentioned at the beginning, uh, we do have the 5.3 liter V8 on board. Uh, for today's example, although you can get all four powertrains if you want. Now, this particular model is the 5.3 liter V8, 355 horsepower, 383 pound-feet of torque. Now, if you need that maximum power figure, uh, the 6.2 liter uh, would be your engine choice. Uh, that's 420 horsepower, 460 pound-feet of torque. So certainly uh, healthy power figures with that 6.2 liter model. Now, the big news this year is that the diesel has actually had a little bit of a revamping. It's going to have 28 more horsepower for the diesel model. It's still going to be a 3 liter turbo inline 6 cylinder for that. Uh, but now you're going to be having 305 horsepower and 400 95 pound-feet of torque which are very impressive figures to say the least and our last engine option that we haven't mentioned yet is actually the standard one that's the 2.7 liter turbo four cylinder it is standard the high output version uh, 310 horsepower 430 pound-feet of torque for that specific motor now as far as the transmissions are concerned you're gonna have technically two versions most of them are gonna come with a 10 speed automatic transmission However, if you do stay with the base 2.7 turbo, that's gonna be paired with an eight-speed automatic instead. But um, as far as performance of this transmission, we've sampled this in numerous General Motors trucks, and it's a very impressive transmission. Yeah. Just kind of climbing this hill here, it actually downshifted a couple times. It's really smooth, and it's really good about keeping you in the power band of whatever engine that you are um, you know, paired with. And overall nice and smooth around town as well as yeah this transmission is one of the best transmissions <laughs> uh, that money can buy now of course you are gonna have standard four-wheel drive with this version of the Silverado the trail bosses of course that would mean that you need four-wheel drive uh, you can get two-wheel drive if you go for a different trim levels of this truck uh, and as far as the fuel economy is concerned we are sitting at 16 miles a gallon combined with this specific version that we're sampling today now of course there are four different engine <laughs> configurations there are literally like an infinite number of fuel economy combinations um, so that's just what this particular model is right today Yeah, I mean, this really has plenty of power. Um, of course, you know, the 6.2 It's better. would be tempting, <laughs> right? <laughs> it is better. <laughs> We've driven that numerous times in the Silverado, and, you know, like I said, tempting proposition, but not necessary, that's for sure. No, and you're still getting the big, nice V8 growl with this 5.3 right. model. I honestly feel like for the Trail Boss, they really make it sound big and meaty uh, so certainly you're not going to be disappointed at the noise that this uh, 5.3 makes but guys now that we're just kind of cruising along on this road I do want to talk about your ride quality of this trail boss model now of course that's not uh, really the focus of the trail boss is having good ride quality it's of course going to be focused on having uh, off-road performance and capability and indeed you will notice that this model has those mud terrain tires you're going to have a little bit of tire vibration entering into the cabin that being said I honestly I don't think the ride quality is too bad at all mm -hmm. uh, it's definitely soaks up the bumps really well we've hit a few big holes in the road and it just really does a phenomenal job I think the seats are also very comfortable um, now do keep in mind we do have the optional leather seats but overall 
very impressed with the ride quality. Now, it is worth noting, if you go for the fully loaded high country model, uh, you can get adaptive dampers. Um, no air suspension is offered on the Silverado, though. That's still going to be Ram 1500 exclusive. Let's go ahead and get a sound level reading going 55. Fifty nine point six was my official reading there, um, and that is that's a pretty good reading as far as how that compares to its competition. Um, <laughs> well, I guess that's how you know it's a very accurate sound level reading, as that tested exactly the same as our twenty twenty two Chevy Silverado Trail Boss. Um, that does put it on the lower end of the segment, but like that's we mentioned, not surprising for this tr trim level. Yeah, this trim level. Yeah, um, you know the mud terrains really have a big impact. Yeah. Um, so you will hear a little bit of tire noise for sure. And I think that's probably the difference between this version of the Silverado and the other trim levels. Well, guys, it's now time to do another one of our car confection signature elements, which is our slam dunk and air ball. Drew, do you want to kick us off with the slam dunk? Yeah, so as far as the slam dunk is concerned, we had some things to choose from, but I think the main thing is just gonna be like, the refreshed elements would be a simple way to put it. Obviously it wasn't refreshed this year, it was refreshed halfway through last year, but nevertheless, the new design on the outside looks great. I absolutely love the way this looks. And the interior night and day difference. We had one of these on loan for the 2021 model year, and the yeah. cabin is so much better finished oh, the technology yeah. is a huge upgrade um, so you know overall that stuff really makes a big impact on you know ownership of this truck yeah and as far as our air ball is concerned i will just say i mean i preface this by saying that all trucks are getting very expensive nowadays but this uh lt trail boss as tested today is definitely not cheap we'll talk about the pricing in just a second but uh, to still be missing features like a moon roof it's a somewhat insulting for the price point that we're at for this model now let's talk about the price of the silverado so if you want a crew cab with short bed and four-wheel drive it's going to start at 47,195 bucks for a wt trim level now there are 75 other trim levels that you can choose as we mentioned at the front and those of course inflate in price now this particular model right here uh, this is the lt trail boss four-wheel drive uh, it starts at fifty-eight thousand dollars, and then we're also going to have quite a few options on this model when we add the 1895 destination charge, we're looking at 67,500 for this tester right here, which does place it pretty much in line with most pickup trucks, but that's also in line with most Mercedes-Benz models as well. But guys, that's gonna wrap up our in-depth review of this 2023 Chevy Silverado 1500 LT Trail Boss. If you enjoyed watching this video or found it helpful in your purchasing decisions, we would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button down below. Why would you do that? Well, you do it because it gives us opportunities to show you all cooler content. By doing so, we get invited to media programs where we can show you the newest trucks and cars first. Also follow us on TikTok and Instagram, check out our merch store, and we'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.